So a major earthquake of magnitude 7.5 is 375 times as intense as a minor earthquake. So is the magnitude of the minor earthquake greater or smaller than 7.5? Okay, well, it looks like we're comparing a major earthquake to a minor earthquake. And our answer is 375 times as intense. So that means the magnitude of the minor earthquake should be smaller than 7.5. Right? If it was larger, then we'd end up with a fraction, as, a fraction times as intense. So use the formula... I1 over I2 equaling 10 raised to the M1 minus M2 to determine to one decimal place the magnitude of the minor earthquake. So what they're giving us in this question is the intensity formula. Right? I1 over I2 equals 375 times as intense. This will equal M1 and the minor earthquake will equal m2. So we'll plug, in the, plug those values into our equation and then solve. So 375 equals 10 raised to the exponent 7.5 minus m2. Now the goal is to get m2 by itself. So we notice that this is an exponential equation. And at this point, we've got lots of tools to solve this, right? We could do it graphically. We could maybe change bases to a common number, which I, just by looking at it, I know we can't. We could convert to x, sorry, convert to log form, or we could take a log of both sides. And because the go-to method is always converting to log form in this course. So log base 10 of 375 equals 7.5 minus x. A little bit of algebra to get x by itself. So I'm going to add an x to both sides to make it positive. And then I'm going to go subtract my log of 375. Notice how I didn't write my base 10 in that second step because we don't need to. So x is equal to 4.925, which will round to one decimal place. So a magnitude 4.9 earthquake.